Hello, Gaston here. Welcome in the all to vlog number three. And this is going to be a little bit more of a personal opinion or talking about sort of a topic that we can all relate to and one that we all experience pretty much on an everyday basis, which is going to be customer service. What is it? Sort of what the difference is myself, my personal experience in working for sort of independent businesses or whether working for, for example, big corporations or companies. So just a brief, quick overlay in my lifetime and this isn't because i've been sacked or i'm not employable don't worry about that it's more because again i love to find new challenges at once i feel like if something isn't for myself i'm not afraid to sort of leave that area or go on a, go on and find a new boundary or a, a new challenge so in terms of other my sort of career i've worked at the likes of kfc gd and um, going as far as saying little uh could even see a restaurants i've worked as a window cleaner i've worked sort of in garages in part-time shops in a, in a chip shop uh all aboard like i said i've done window cleaning rounds for next to at the time it was only like three pound an hour you know and it was what built a lot of car at the time but in terms of the experiences of myself i believe having all them different experiences have really taught me something about customer services it allows me to really express my customer service in my own sort of unique way i mean one thing i do want to touch upon is i believe customer services sort of getting in this day and age one of them situations where i don't want to get to a point where we are afraid as humans to be told that we're wrong I and mean, we're being told you're wrong and obviously the right manner shouldn't be disheartening it shouldn't discredit anybody i feel every day we all feel every day and it's something that we should really appreciate and want to learn from and i know that it's disheartening i, I get disheartened if i don't do something successfully or if i don't do something the first time and it does it does bother us of course as i'm a human being but in terms of you have to perceive that there is an outcome to the end and that if you don't give up and my opinion of great customer service would just have to be to be again what i'm touching upon a lot in my, in my vlogs is just being extremely genuine i mean there's a difference now i think in this day and age being told that you're wrong should not get somebody disheartened or should upset somebody and that shouldn't be classed as bad customer service for example wanting to improve and wanting to better ourselves should be a daily goal for everybody and it's something that is starting to evolve in myself i mean in terms of we all fail, I fail every day. I do get disheartened when I do fail, and I do, of course, sometimes it's harder to pick myself back up than others, but in terms of, we have to welcome that, and I mean, I know it's a bit easier, sort of, from all the motivational speeches or successful individuals that they say, it's all about failing, failing, and getting used to that, that experience, and I believe that's so key. In terms of, even with customer service, we can fail sometimes, we are human beings. And again, with the word service, I would more prefer to be turned to customer experience. So in my personal opinion, I want the customer to have a real great experience the moment they come in to the moment they leave, whether that be a restaurant environment, a retail environment. I mean, even if it was a more personal environment, like a, like a tattooist or a, again, a musician, I mean, you want the experience to start from the very get-go, even the traveling down, even the reading the brochure at home, you know? So in terms of when they come in, when it becomes more of a service, and I've found from personal experience, when you work for the likes of a corporation or a bigger company like little kfc jd etc a lot of the customers will maybe start to abuse that service especially when they are told they're wrong again i believe the difference being that it should go both ways i think companies should protect the individuals a bit more for example whether we've all put a customer complaint in whether it be website feedback or in terms of on that little bottom of the receipt or whether it be going on social media i'm really venting i feel like in this day and age especially i mean i'm not just going to obviously stereotype england as such i mean there's Obviously, I can only have my own personal experience with my own nation and the community, but in terms of how people vent a lot of their negative opinions on social media a lot more quickly than they would vent the positive ones, and that's quite alarming in itself that we never actually tell each other when we've done good, and that's so disheartening, I believe. Like, even at work, recognition becomes so few and far between that I love to tell somebody the great. I love to tell somebody that doing fantastic and that they've, they've made it. it this, the feeling of what we can do for others is so much more beneficial to anything else. So why do we always have to point out each other's faults or pick each other's weaknesses apart? To look at each other's strengths and again, going along along the lines of the customer service, I will talk about examples of myself uh, working in these KFCs, little etc. where customers can be very aggressive, can demand, and that's what I sort of want to try and remove that stigma from the customer and from the, the staff members. It is now God-given right. It is now right in general, not even no, to sort of right in general to automatically assume that just because we were born in a certain country or a certain family or a certain line or a certain 
uh, system, whether it be lower class, middle class, upper class, that we are entitled to be treated like the ground is the clouds beneath us, I suppose. And in terms of, yes, we will provide a great experience, but that should go both ways. The, per the individual at our work is working just as hard, has a family or not to go home to, has their own issues, their own stresses, their own dreams, might not want to be in that position, has a lot going on at home, etc., etc. We've all got life stories, one I want to touch upon. But more in the terms of, it doesn't have to be a demand, it doesn't have to be, this is my way or no way. I think the ones that really expect to be them have let their ego get a little bit too out of hand there in terms of expecting the, the supermarket to be only for them, and especially during the working through the, both lockdowns. I have noticed massively the ignorance of humanity and seeing it. Not everyone, by the way. I'm not obviously overshadowing everyone with the same brush there, but however, in terms of we do need to remove that stigma of it being a God-given right, I, I should say, because it's not. It isn't. I mean, customer service experience i like to say is there to make your experience just as great as ours or anyone who works in them situations i've worked in many different sets like i said restaurant retail uh, and it goes beyond that so i've experienced it more and i'll be honest the best forms of customer service i've ever experienced have always been genuine whether it be when i was window cleaning getting a cuppa every time i would do around there would always be the same sort of customer i would present one and they were always lovely you know because i always met that demand and need and they could never ask any more of us because they already knew what we were going to give and i believe that's how we never got complaints if we are if my window was ever missed then yes but that never happened so in terms of being in a situation where an individual knows the company isn't going to protect that person outright if they because an email can be exaggerated i mean i've done it myself in the past i wouldn't do it again actually because i don't believe that's the right way to go about it what is the gain of losing somebody a job who's got a family go to they could have had a tough day that day just like the customer could have also you know it doesn't need to be we don't need to spit dummies out and get revenge like that it can be a very bit i think revenge it can really i know from personal experience and it can obviously haunt you for a long time and getting over that can be hard but in terms of now going into my next topic about working for an independent because I have been looking to work for a few independents in my time that being companies that sort of have minimal a few en enterprises whether it be one two three four shops or four restaurants etc where the owner I've knew quite well or if not personally whether it be when I play worked in a restaurant where I was playing hockey with one of the owners and a great little restaurant it was or currently at the best place I've ever worked in my life for customer protection customer experience and camaraderie would have to be a little shop in not local to myself as such or across the river Tyne, but it is a, a local shop in south shields again during these times this is no free advert but similar to how we have long sands surf company or our time our surf company and the long sands clothing company uh, and how we have northern threads over south shields independent men's designer retailer also has gifts that could be purchased there for other for unisex items as well but in terms of how we really need to support independent businesses in these times give back to our communities again how i've expressed before we have to look after one one another upon the content of each depends the fate of all i will always touch upon that quote but again the experience of working a customer like sorry the experience of working customer services at Norman Fred's really enlightened me to how you could be protected how we could build a real solid customer base that is still the best customer base I've ever built in my life in terms of even in my new job I see all customers from there and we have a better rapport than what I do with new customers even though I've tried and that was just because customer service should be real and genuine not read off the script not read off the company I know company procedures can be right but no disrespect some big wig up in head office who might have had a few days on the shop floor unless they've obviously came up through the hierarchy system like a like a napoleon-esque sort of from the bottom to the top soldier to emperor then i could understand but in terms of other than that they would need really need to appreciate that we are going to know like someone being real someone you can tell one in the gut when someone's lying or reading off a script or trying to sell i've openly said in sales jobs on the bar an example i've openly turned a customer away from a product because i've told them the truth that it was just almost a false it wasn't going to provide what they wanted and that they'd almost been not lied to but sold to wrong and I, upon that they trusted me so much that the further sales that came upon that was so vast and, they, and I've always done well in sales because it's always been so genuine. I would openly tell somebody if a t-shirt looked bad on them so that they would know when it would look good, it was genuine. And I believe in the end, being real, no matter what, will always get you uh, more satisfaction and you know in the, the outcome you have generally helped somebody. So just to wrap this 
short video up i just want to say going forward especially during what looks like could be another lockdown period in england why don't we just try and be a bit more i mean i know it's a bit preachy because we all have bad days but definitely in terms of customer service and all walks of life just remember that no matter what everything in life is what we put into it so if you're gonna if you're going in in a bad mood and that or in an aggressive or negative attitude it's gonna automatically change the situation into it the fight or flight syndrome will always kick in whether it be in the universe or internally so it's just a one to really reflect on and i hope you all have a great day but yes just reflecting upon let's all try and just be a bit nicer to each other there's no harm in that and uh let's hope we can all give well ha have a great piece of customer let's all today maybe a little challenge being trying to thank somebody for great customer service or on the opposite side thanking the customer for making a shift more more enjoyable i've thanked customers in my past for doing that and it really warms them up also having that rapport and they also come at sometimes come down just to shop just to see my, myself personally and that allows more sales for the company etc so in the end it's a a very very win-win situation but please like and subscribe and continue on the journey we are going to be trying to look to upload videos daily although it might just with my contract currently reducing it till i get down to if the bare minimum or if not none at all we will be trying to get as many as a week i can but they will look to improve and be more numerous in the future but peace